Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Haven't done a Q&A in a very long time. Figured I'd ask you guys to ask me questions over on Instagram at techblockm. Follow me on there if you aren't following me on Instagram already. I post some amazing content on there. Some behind the scenes stuff, what I get up to in my day-to-day -day life. Not much, but yeah, let's jump into the Q&A. We have Ben Cookson, or Cookson. Do you cook, son? Speaking of cooking, I'm gonna actually make some pasta whilst making this Q&A, because I'm, I'm very hungry. Uh, so we have Ben Cook, son, why don't you make a room just for RGB? Um, maybe I already have a room in this apartment just for RGB, I've just not kind of shown it off. That would make for a pretty cool video though, right? Just LED light strips on all the walls. We have RGB mice, RGB keyboards, all sorts of RGB related things all in one room. That'd be a cool video, right? We have Jonathan Nord for do you still do setup reviews over on the setup block show that I kind of used to do on the channel but then abruptly stopped and no one really knows why. Um, the series will be making a comeback soon. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises on when but it's coming back. Be on the lookout for setup block. I've probably said this like 10 times before but this time the series is actually coming back just just wait a little longer. So in terms of setup block I've already actually chosen four people for episode 11, I think it's going to be. It's going to be RTX edition. Setup blocks coming back. Be on the lookout for it. Next question. Gamer Diasse? I don't know how to pronounce your name, do you? Sorry. Uh, I am also IT student, third semester, and you are my senior, bro. Call me. <laughs> um, I'm going to blur that number out. He just gave me his number and said, call me. I'm pretty sure you're in the US, so I'm not going to call you. I'm sorry. Uh, my... My phone bill would be a lot. Is there gonna be a tech block gaming channel or gaming videos on tech block? Well, one thing you'll probably never see on this channel is a dedicated gaming video. I'm not gonna say never, but it's very unlikely that you're gonna see actual gaming content on this channel. But a lot of you do ask me a lot of the time like, hey Em, why don't you make a gaming channel? That'd be pretty cool, right? Or like, why don't you stream, dude? Um, could I actually stream with this potato internet that I have now? Maybe. I'm sure I could find a way to maybe stream, um, but then again, it's kind of iffy because 4G, that's not the best time, is it? Um, as for me actually doing gaming videos, I don't know, maybe it's something I could like experiment with and actually make a second channel for. If anyone would bother watching me play video games, I don't, I don't know if any of you would. If you would actually watch a gaming channel by me, maybe me and a few friends or something, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Or actually, uh, I'm gonna put a poll up on YouTube that you can vote in. So if you wanna see a gaming channel, <laughs> let me know. And uh, I mean, if enough of you want it, I'll make it happen. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm gonna play. Maybe like Minecraft or something. Whatever you guys want me to. We can make a gaming channel. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about this now. I've actually not made gaming videos for a very long time. So maybe that is something that we need. Some gaming content, eh? <laughs> we have Stuart123. How come you're not filling your setup with monitors? In my previous gaming setup back in the other apartment, we had a whopping three monitors, four monitors at one point. It was cool. Uh, now we're down to a single monitor, single display. Personally, I kind of like it. It's very simple, very minimalistic. There's no crazy things going on in the setup. And that's kind of the way it's going to stay until I get my hands on 27 inch MSI monitors. But until I get my hands on those, that the setup staying as a single ultra wide, I'm very happy with it. I think it looks clean. It's very simple, you know. I think the setup looks good now, especially with the new Razer PC case in the setup. It's a, it's a very nice, I approve. But there will most likely be a triple monitor setup coming soon, just when I get hands on 27 inch monitors to put on either side of the 35 inch ultra wide. So hopefully that answers your question there, Stuart. The next question comes from Reese Mansfield. Shout out to you, by the way, because you've been following me for like, I don't know, over a year or something. Like, Reese has been supporting the channel for a very long time, I think. So I'm pretty sure I recognize your name. Anyway, um, Reese asks two questions actually. What was your setup like as a kid? There's. A photo of my setup when I was a kid, it was a potato setup. You've probably seen it on Instagram, uh, the before and after photos that all of these freaking gaming pages just keep reposting and not tagging me in. That's always fun. Um, just stealing my content and just no credit whatsoever. Thank you so much. But uh, yeah, that thing has been posted all over Instagram. The before and after photos of my setup back at the old apartment. Yeah, uh, my setup was a goddamn potato. I'm sure we can all agree 
looking at this photo. And then you also asked, next giveaway. I think there will actually be a giveaway coming out pretty soon. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'll be giving away because I'm teaming up with like some other companies to actually give stuff away to you guys. So when there'll be another giveaway, probably in the next month or two, there'll definitely be a giveaway. Yeah, there's a lot of questions. Just realized I've not even began to make my pasta. I'm just standing here in the kitchen answering questions. So we're gonna have to pause this Q&A for a little while because I, I need food and we have pasta. If you would like to actually see my cabinet, it's freaking amazing. Okay, so what would you like for dinner or lunch or breakfast? We have pasta. Nothing else, just pasta. If you want food, we have pasta. We don't eat anything else in this apartment, just pasta. Right, scales, boom, done. I need to actually open this cabinet up where we have a bowl. Boom, bowl acquired. Let's put the bowl on the scales, turn the scales on. Now, if I'm really hungry, I'll cook around 200 grams of pasta, which is around, I think, 144 carbs. Like, that's complex carbs in one meal, which is a lot of carbs. But yeah, if I'm really hungry, I'll just make 200 grams of pasta. Now I'm feeling pretty damn hungry, so I think I might actually go for 200 grams of pasta. Um, do we even have enough in here for 200 grams of pasta? We got it to 96 grams. That's good enough, uh, near about 200 grams. Uh, right, we need to boil the kettle, fill it up with water. Whilst that's boiling, I need a pot. All right, we have our pot, we have our pasta. Our kettle is boiling away. We should probably answer another question. I'm trying to speak loudly so that I can speak over top of the kettle noise. Right, we have Albin0911. What headset headphones do you use when you're not gaming? Ooh. I only really have one pair of headphones at the moment and those are the Razer Nari Ultimate wireless headphones with the whole Hypersense technology which essentially makes the whole headset vibrate which is pretty damn cool. Um, that's the only pair of headphones I have and the only pair of headphones I use. However, when I'm going for a walk, you know, going outside and all, I'll stick to my AirPods. But if I'm indoors, Razor Nari Ultimate. The water in the kettle boiled. Our pasta is in the pot. It's gonna be cooking pretty soon, I hope. Uh, we have a question from TTV Diamond B12. Why did you choose PlayStation? I did not choose PlayStation. My roommate is the one who bought that PS4. And a lot of you have been asking me, Yo M, who is your roommate? He's already been featured in quite a few videos. You may have seen him, you may have not. If you want to see some wonderful content featuring me and him, we built a hot tub and it kind of got infected at one point with like some kind of disease and it kind of smelled kind of bad. But yeah, if you want to go see some videos of me and my roommate, there's the hot tub videos that we would film together. We filmed the TV video together. Uh, and I'm sure there's like a few other videos here and there on the channel that he's been featured in. But yeah, the hot tub one is one you should definitely check out. That was. One hell of a video, oh my god. A lot of swearing though, so you've been warned. But to answer your question on why we got a PS4 and not like an Xbox One or something, um, if it was down to me to choose this console, I would have actually gone for an Xbox. But I'm not the one who bought this. I didn't even know we're getting a PS4. He just showed up like, yo dude, we got a PS4 now. So yeah, we have a PS4, not up to me. I didn't choose it. Yeah, hopefully that answers your question. You also asked whether or not I'm doing a giveaway. Yes, I'm doing a giveaway. We have Josh Kiwi. What's the best gaming headset? Ooh. Um, well, I've not really tried that many. The Razer Nari Ultimate headphones are pretty damn good. Apart from the fact that the battery life kind of sucks on those headphones. So I've actually turned off the LEDs on either side of the headphones um, just to preserve battery life. Because it's kind of annoying plugging them in to charge every other day or something. It's very annoying, especially when you're editing a video or playing a game and your wireless headphones run out of battery. That is never a situation you want to be in. But nevertheless, the Razer Nari Ultimate headphones, they're the best ones I've used myself. I've not really experienced many other high-end gaming headphones, I guess. But yeah. And then you also asked me, what's the best gaming chair I've ever used? Which I can show you. I can show you this chair in person. It's magnificent. And it's the chair that has been in my setup for quite a while now. Since we moved into this apartment, GT Omega hooked your boy up with this wonderful chair here. I believe this is the GT Omega Sport. It's just like a nice chair in general to sit in. I don't experience like any back pain or anything like that. Like, it's a good chair. I'd recommend this one. And you can use code, I think it's like TechBlock5 to save yourself 5% off of anything on GT Omega's website. Right, let's get back to the video. I'm back to cooking my pasta. We have a spoon and we have pasta, okay. Now, did you think I'd be combining cooking with them as well as a Q&A into one video? Right, where are we? Uh, what is your dream car? Oh my God. 
This is going to be a weird answer to a lot of you and the people in North America are going to be like, a what? Um, a Volkswagen Scirocco R. That's kind of my dream car. For some reason, I just really love Scirocco's, especially the Scirocco R. 2 liter engine, 280 horsepower. Very nice and uh, hopefully it has a sunroof as well. That's kind of my dream car, like top spec Scirocco R. That would be pretty damn nice. But the reason I said that people in North America are gonna be like, a what? Um, Scirocco's aren't available in North America and a lot of people don't actually even know about them, but they are available in Europe, Australia. Well, they're not really available anymore because Volkswagen kind of stopped manufacturing Scirocco's a while ago, but they're still pretty nice cars and I definitely do want one. We have Jack Let me know that my setup looks so damn clean. Thank you, dude. What is your favorite PC that you've used? The MSI Trident X Plus, I think it's called. The pre-built PC that MSI sent to me, which is sitting right there, it is absolutely amazing. 32 gigs of RAM, Intel Core i9 9900K, RTX 2080 Ti. What? Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful PC, honestly. Editing on this thing is just a very nice experience. And today I played some Rust and oh my God, Rust on max settings looks so damn good. I played some DayZ on here as well. Pretty much everything I've thrown at this PC doesn't lag. It just, it just performs so damn well on like max settings. Probably thanks to the fact that it's rocking an RTX 2080 Ti in there and a pretty damn good gaming CPU as well, the i9-9900K. That is definitely the best PC I've ever used in my life. It's a shame I have to send it back at some point though. I really want to keep it. <laughs> How we're looking at our pasta timer. We have one minute left for our pasta timer. We can probably get through a few more questions. Who is that girl that keeps popping up on your Insta? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can I see all of your RGB stuff in your new build on Wave? Oh, okay. So in the uh, Razer Li and Li PC build, will we set everything to Wave? Yes, we will. I want to try to set as many things as I possibly can to Wave, including the actual case LEDs themselves. I'll try to set them to Wave, because I'm pretty sure you can set them to Wave in Razer Synapse. Why only one monitor now? Kind of already answered this question earlier. I like the ultra wide. I'm sticking to it until we get 27 inch monitors to put on either side of it. Did you finish part three of the PC build? No, I'm waiting for a new graphics card to arrive. Once that gets here, we can finish up that PC build. We have around 10 seconds left on the timer. Are you going to be adding more monitors or only staying with one? Yes, adding more monitors. Uh, what advice would you give to people trying to become content creators like you? My God, um, stay consistent. Oh. There's the old timer going off. We have to drain our pasta. And I'm going to try to do this whilst also answering your question. Stay consistent with your uploads. I feel like my channel could have been much further ahead than it is now in terms of like subscribers and stuff. If I would have stuck to like, yeah, like a normal upload schedule and not randomly take like multiple weeks off without uploading. Um, so yeah, in terms of advice, upload consistently. Don't randomly disappear for like half a month. It's probably not the best thing for your channel. Hey guys, welcome to Dick Black. There's been so many questions about you. About who? You. About what, what will that mean? Like, who's the new roommate? It's Conrad. Your hillbilly brother. The hillbilly brother. How big is your apartment in square meters? 2.5 meters. <laughs> Look at our fridge, bro. Tell me this is not impressive. <laughs> you come home. Crack open a Budweiser. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. My pasta's ready and the q and A's over. If you wanna be participating my in life. the future one. <laughs> oh my God. If you wanna participate in a future Q&A, press on my Instagram down below in the description. Follow me on there. I'll let you know when I'm doing a Q&A. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye.